don't forget to subscribe for more reviews. Please also like. Thank you. So you say that you're ready to leave the Decepticons, but that you're afraid of Nemesis Prime and what he might do to you if you actually do? That's right, Spinster. Just keep him busy a little bit longer and wait for my signal. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Tom, and today we will be taking a look at the DX9 War in Pocket uh, Return of Justice Force, what do they call these things? The Campaigners. And this is the three pack that has the Blur, Ironhide, and the Ratchet. Uh, here's the box, here's the box, the box, the box, and the box. And, yeah, this box is a little bit misleading, and I'll tell you why. I don't know how well it comes off, but he has a weapon. There, are, He does not have a weapon in this box anywhere. Um, on this side of the box, it shows our good Ironhide and Ratchet holding two different weapons, which may not come up on the camera. Yeah, they don't come with weapons. Let me just put that out there. They don't come with weapons. Okay, so this is Tom. I'm breaking in with a little update here. Um, I was incorrect. There are weapons on this. I just couldn't find them. They're actually right here. They come out of these little slots right here. So, there's one. Ah, if I can get it out. Here is two. And they are this... And that, both figures have them. They, can they hold them? I don't know. He's having a hard time getting that in there. Get in there. Nope. Can't hold that one very well. But this one. He can hold that one. Maybe he can hold, he can hold that one. Maybe he can hold this one in this hand. Right here. Let's see. Uh, I can force it. So, yeah, he can hold his weapons, so they do have weapons, they have storage for the weapons right there. That's actually pretty ingenious. So, alright, I disregard that criticism. Okay, okay, here we go. So, getting the box out of the way. They come in this clamshell, just as you see, and they come with a little baggie of instructions. Okay, baggie of instructions. Yay! So, ah, get out of there. Get out! Come on now, you can do it. I have full faith and confidence in you. All right, tops off. Out of the box. Now, I've seen Vangelis's review. If you haven't watched his review on this guy, uh, I'll try to remember to link it in here because it was actually a pretty good review to compare this guy by. Uh, he complained that the robot mode, the paint on it was really bad. And this guy's paint is nice, it's crisp, but if you notice, he, he does not have red cross signs. So it is ratchet, but he doesn't have some of the ratchet things. Let's get blur out of the box. Uh, blur... Yeah, it's Blur. Okay, or Speedoo, or whatever his name is. Uh, Gardenell. He's got a really nice head sculpt. I know it doesn't come off very well on my camera, but he's got a really nice head sculpt. Uh, these guys are blocky, they're chunky, 
Um, there's no finish on this red. I may have to do the old, uh, uh, well, I guess it's the new wax trick on them to see how they shine up. But Speedo comes with a little gun. That's the only, there's a little spot for a gun there. So Speedo is the only one that comes with a gun. Tell you what, um, I will, uh, let me pause right here and I'll bring this back and I'll transform one of these guys up in, well, both of them, I guess, and you can see it. So hang on. Okay, so before I, before I begin transformations, I'm just going to go really quickly through uh, some articulation. So here on Blur, we'll, we'll start with him. Uh, the head is on a little bit of a hinge is that a hinge no it's just the way that it's cut its ball joint so you get wiggle waggle it can go all the way around uh, outward movement is limited to the by the, due to these pylons that's as far out as his hands his arms are going to get uh, he can do a full 360 nothing at the wrist you've got a ball joint right here so you can wiggle waggle that around uh, he has a full waist swivel his legs you got T-joints for the hips. I don't know. Mine came out of the package. It's got this stuff here on the crotch area. It almost looks like dirt. I don't know what that is. Um, if I had to guess what that was, I would say it, it almost looks like, uh, you know, when you put on a sticker and you get, like, resin from your fingers or something on it. I, I don't know. But, anyway, he can do the full... American splits. Pretty sure that's the American splits. Yep, he can do the American splits. And because of that T jointed ball joint, he can do the Chinese splits. So, yay for splits. Okay, real quick looking at, at this, he's got silver paint here, white paint here, a uh, little bit of blue paint there. Silver paint, blue paint, it's metallic blue too, it looks really nice. Blue paint, back of the figure, blue paint, and this is plastic, 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 plastic. Alright, that's blur. His gun is blue. And it plugs into his hand, not so well, but yes, he can hold it. Okay, very tightly can he hold it. Okay, there's a pin right there and that's a very large pin goes all the way through okay so um let's do ratchet here whatever his name is all right so heads on a ball joint it can do a full 360 but it really doesn't like to do so uh, ball jointed arms 360 they go all the way out so he can do the yay pose waist joint Waist swivel goes all the way around. T-jointed ball joints. For hips, he can do the Chinese splits. He can do the American splits, but it really looks kind of weird. All right. <clears throat> Ankle articulation. I didn't. don't think I covered that on Speedo. Uh, really not anything at all. Speedo, his, his feet are on a ball joint, so you can pretty much do whatever you want to with him. Okay. So, paint. You got this pretty little black right here. You have eyes that are painted. You have silver uh, on the face. This is nice and crisp. You have kind of a grayish, uh, almost gunmetal there. Black plastic, I think. I'm pretty sure that's a piece of black plastic right there, right here. Uh, kind of auburny, reddish plastic. That's paint right there. Um, nothing at the hands on any of these figures. Uh, that's silver paint, some of that metallic uh, gunmetal paint right here, right here, uh, blue paint, blue paint, back of the figure. Okay, so tell you what, I'm going to transform him right now so you can see how he, how he works. First thing you do, take this out, take this out, fold this down so that it looks like this, okay? Do this on both sides. Bring this up like this. Now, take your head, move it all the way forward as far as it'll go, okay? Because these two little horns right here are going to plug into those two, 
this little section right here and you have to be kind of precise with it to line it up otherwise it won't work right and I really wonder how how long this paint is going to last uh, through multiple transformations of this but yeah it just kind of sits in there now these arms come back and rotate just like this so they sit like this same thing here they just kind of rotate back and they sit like this so the feet and the legs this right here pull it up like this and this is on a double hinge so just kind of pull it back like that pull this up pull it back like that now your hips right here pull this in like this oh I think we rotate at some point do we I don't know I don't think so no we don't take your ball joint here pull it up everything will just kind of collapse over top of itself do one side at a time and there's a tab in here that'll tab right there see there's a there's a slot right here and there's a little tabby right right there a little slot and that little tabby will line up and it'll just clip together see and then you just kind of tab that all together BAM you got yourself if it had a red cross on it it'd be an ambulance it's got the little things right there so little lights it's not the cleanest as far as panel lines and whatnot and don't even think about rolling wheels I mean this one sort of rolls but you know let's face it it's a brick uh, the other one transforms exactly the same okay so get these guys out of the way this guy right here Whew, let's see if I can remember how to transform him okay so first thing we do is we bring these things up around his hands the feet you rotate these like this pull them up rotate them I I'm hoping I remember that right I've only transformed this guy once so bear with me if I get it wrong this back here is going to separate at some point I don't know if this is the right time or not or maybe it's the front that separates. Abe splits in half. There's a tab there that tabs in. You can kind of see where this is all going. It's the front that separates. Now this is kind of funny because the head, there's a sliding mechanism, or sliding, uh, there's a mechanism in here where the head comes down, this part comes up, and it has to come up, there's a little lip right here, and this has to come up past the lip. So you got to kind of push it up past the lip and then that'll come up and it'll all tab in and work work well when it's all done trust me it will I have no reason to lie to you this folds forward these two things tab together and I was wrong this comes together this way I think it's that way isn't it that way maybe I got it backwards maybe it's See, and yeah, it's like that. That's it. Yep, like that right there. You just got to fiddle with it until you get these in the right configuration. There's a there's a proper way of doing it. <laughs> there really is. <laughs> what a wonderful review you're giving here, Tom. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Oh, and eventually you'll pop his head completely apart. And when you do that, there's only one thing to do. Stop and fix it. Because if you don't, you will lose all the parts to his head. Uh, what a day. You. Quit looking at me. Get back on her. Get back on her. Ah! So how's the weather where you all are? This is a review. Yes, it's a review. 
Oh, well, these fingers are mine. Come on now, work. Work. Work, damn you. Work. 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 Don't be that way. Get in there. There we go. Stay on this time. Okay. So, this comes up. This comes up. This comes around. See, I must have the head in the wrong spot or something. It's got to go through. There we go. It's all in how you hold your jaw. I've said that for years. Okay, these do something. They turn around, plug in. There's a slot, slot. See, it can be done. Contrary to popular belief, it can be done. You just have to know. Uh, well, you don't have to know what you're doing. You just have to pretend like you do. And that's Blur in his robot mode. Or, or his robot mode, his vehicle mode. And that plugs in right there. And now he's got a weapon. So, there he is in his robot mode. Okay. So, car, car. Size comparison. Uh, there. Okay. Here he is with... Uh, Classic Prime. Okay. Probably... Oh. Well, I guess I could do robot modes, couldn't I? Okay. And that's just a regular shockwave I've painted up. So, it, this was a failed project. Uh, let's see, what do I have that might be modern? Uh, here is uh, Rodimus from the Titan's Return line that won't stand for me. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up, damn you. Old weak, weak hipped Rodimus. So there they are, size comparison with Rodimus. Okay. So there's size comparisons. I think I've covered everything I needed to. Uh, just be aware. Be aware when you're buying these. This one, the joints are really tight. Which is something Vangelis had an issue with. Uh, the paint is a lot better. Which again was something that Vangelis had an issue with. But... I don't know, I'm missing the red cross symbols. I really am. Uh, it is, it's boxy, it's panelly. I, I'm, I'm happy with my set. But I really wish I had known the things that I know now prior to buying it. I might have hesitated before buying it, if that makes sense. And I always wondered why they they did this this way. Why wouldn't they make this so that this would just kind of fold down further and fall in right here? I, I, I don't like this behind his head. And I always thought, well, you know, I can just clip this off and redesign it. But no, no. There's no way of doing that. All right, this is Tom. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Do, 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 do. And now to answer the burning question on everyone's mind, how do these guys scale with Metroplex? So here we have Gardenelle with Metroplex. Here we have Speedoo in the hands of Metroplex. And there we have Medic or whatever his name is. Just kind of sitting there chatting with Rekgar. So, yeah. I mean, they're just legend scale figures. So, give you some, some idea of what's going on there. Alright. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you for watching my Papa's channel. Please subscribe and like. Thank you.